The Russian Navy's Project 885M, yes, an M-class, multi-purpose nuclear-powered attack submarine, Novosibirsk, was launched and put into water on December 25th. An official ceremony was held in the Samash shipyard. Commander-in-chief of the Russian Navy, Admiral Nikolai Evmanov, stated, the strategic and multi-purpose nuclear submarines that the Navy is equipped with embody the best scientific achievements in the field of domestic submarine shipbuilding. In his speech, the commander of the White Sea Naval Base, Konstantin Kabantsov, emphasized that Novosibirsk is a modern warship that meets all the requirements and has unique combat capabilities. The ships of this series are capable of solving a wide range of tasks to defeat underwater surface and ground targets. Novosibirsk was laid down in July 2013 and is expected to enter service by the end of 2020. Yasin is one submarine class that the U.S. military was concerned about. Sometime back, U.S. Navy's top submarine officer, Rear Admiral Dave Johnson, stated, We'll be facing tough potential opponents. One only has to look at the Severodvinsk, first vessel of the Yasin class, Russia's version of a nuclear-guided missile submarine SSGN. He was so impressed with this ship that he had built a model from unclassified data so that he could look at it every day on his way to his office. In this video, Defense Updates reports on the deployment of Yasin M-Class nuclear-powered attack submarine Novosibirsk. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by World of Warships. World of Warships is a free-to-play game that enables you to command a mammoth naval fleet featuring some of history's most iconic war vessels, including the USS Indianapolis. You can unlock new warships as you immerse yourself in this highly comprehensive game. The game currently has 300 ships across 10 different nations and 30 million players worldwide. The detailed graphics is the strong point of World of Warships. The warships are accurately designed like the real ones, and this along with weather effects and realistic battle scenarios make you feel like you're there. It's interesting to note that the game is updated frequently, and each week there's something new to experience, with a steady flow of new missions, game updates, and events to keep you and your friends engaged for hours on end. World of Warships has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you 250 doubloons, 3 days premium account with 1 million credits, 1 premium ship USS Charleston, as well as 1 port slot if you register for the first time. So why wait? Register yourself using the link in the description below and use the code BATTLESTATIONS2020 to get your bonus. Novosibirsk is the second boat of Yasin M-Class. The first was named Kazan. Yasin M is intended as a substantial improvement based on the lessons learned from the lengthy development, construction, and testing process for the original Yasin class. Yasin M design is reportedly quieter than lead Yasin class boat. It's built with low magnetic steel to reduce its magnetic signature, which will make it much harder to detect. The Yasin class, unlike older Soviet vessels, are multi mission boats, similar to American Sea Wolf or Virginia classes. The Yasin M class vessels are 120 meters long, have a submerged displacement of 13,800 tons. They're designed to dive to a maximum depth of 600 meters. Each ship of this class is designed to operate independently for up to 100 days. Unlike previous Russian submarines that have a double hull, this class of submarines only have a single hull. Novosibirsk has a high level of automation built into the submarine and can operate with only 85 personnel. It's powered by a single OK-650 KPM 200 megawatt nuclear reactor. The reactor will not need refueling till the end of life of the submarine. As per reports, the sub can reach a speed of 20 knots, that's 37 kilometers per hour or 23 miles per hour when surfaced. In submerged condition, it has a speed of 28 knots, which is 52 km per hour or 32 miles per hour, when operating silently, and a max speed of 35 knots, which is 65 km per hour or 40 miles per hour. Yasin M is the first Russian submarine class to be equipped with a spherical sonar. Novosibirsk sensor suite consists of an Irtish Amphora sonar system with a bow mounted spherical sonar array. 
flank sonar arrays, and a towed array for rearward detection. It has an MRK-50 Albatross Snoop Pair Navigation Surface Search Radar. It also has RimHat Electronic Support Countermeasure Suite. Yes, an M-Class has 10 VLS vertical launch system silos, which are two more than original Yasin. The 10 VLS silos of Novosibirsk can carry 40, that's 10 by 4, P-800 Onyx missiles. It's one of the most deadly anti-ship missiles today. P-800 Onyx, also known as Yakant, is a supersonic anti-ship cruise missile, capable of speed of up to Mach 2.5. And has a range of 600 kilometers or 373 miles. It has a robust guidance system. Onik is a fire and forget missile, which means that Novosibirsk can maneuver safely after launching the missile. At the beginning of its flight, the P 800 uses satellite guidance, and towards the end, it actively tracks its target with radar. P 800 has a circular error probable CEP of just 1.5 meters. It's important to note that some variants of Onyx can have a nuclear warhead. The 10 VLS silos can be used to deploy 50, that's 10 by 5, different variants of Caliber missile. Some variants of Caliber are equivalent to the American Tomahawk cruise missile in many parameters, such as range, warhead, and propulsion. These have a range of 2,500 kilometers or 1,554 miles, are equipped with a 450 kilogram or 1,000 pound high explosive warhead, and are powered by a turbofan engine. Similar to Tomahawk, they have a speed of Mach 0.8. There are some variants of the missile that have second stage propulsion, enabling a supersonic sprint in the terminal approach to the target, which reduces the reaction time. Caliber, like Onyx, can be armed with nuclear warheads. Due to the large size of the spherical array, the torpedo tubes are slanted. In other words, the torpedo tube's outward doors are not located in the immediate bow, as in the previous Akula class, but moved aft. Novosibirsk's design accommodates 10 650mm torpedo tubes. The tubes can be used to carry 30, that's 10 by 3, heavyweight torpedoes. These can be equipped with Type 65 torpedo. It was developed for use against U.S. Navy aircraft carrier battle groups, as well as large merchant targets such as supertankers and advanced enemy submarines. The torpedo has a range of 100 kilometers or 62 miles. It's equipped with a 550 kilogram, that's 1,212 pound, warhead. A single hit from this torpedo can potentially sink a large warship. Novosibirsk is a potent submarine that has most areas covered. Russia plans to build a total of seven Yasin-class submarines. Four of these, Krasnoyarsk, Arkhangelsk, Perm, and Ulyanovsk are currently under construction at the Sevmash shipyards. The fleet will give a massive boost to the Russian undersea force. Their addition will be a major concern for the Russian rival, including the U.S. Navy, going forward. Reports indicate that these submarines will be equipped with hypersonic Zircon missiles, which will make them even more deadly. Russia's growing state-of-the-art submarine fleet is apparently generating anxiety among the U.S. military. In June 2016, Vice Admiral James Fago III, commander of the U.S. Sixth Fleet, wrote in the June issue of the U.S. Naval Institute's magazine that an effective, skilled, and technologically advanced Russian submarine force is challenging NATO's maritime dominance. Not only is Russia developing more powerful submarines, but is also deploying them in more patrols. Admiral Vladimir Korolyov, the commander-in-chief of the Russian Navy, had said his submarine crews spent more than 3,000 days underwater in 2016 alone. He added Russian subs are patrolling the seas at levels last seen during the Cold War. It can be conceived that Russia's undersea fleet is seeing a resurgence. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this.
hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.